welcome to Kump. I'm the wine princess, bitch. That's right. It's back. We were talking about it on the Patreon. See, that's what happens if you're not on the Patreon. We're cooking up ideas without you, and then you have to be told on Sunday. Um, and this has all, all been brewing. Uh, if you go back to the early days of Kump, the rough and tumble, the, the, the mouse in my shoe, just sitting in the closet, talking to a wall for an hour version of Kump from uh, what, two years ago, about, approximately. Uh, there was an early campaign, a mug campaign. I made, I didn't make mugs. People think I have a, a warehouse full of mugs. It's 2020. It's, no, they, there's sites that will make the mugs. I'm not some guy. I'm not fucking bu- going to Crate and Barrel or like uh, Ikea and buying like 10,000 mugs. I'm not going to some fucking Chinese import export company saying, hey, can, uh, can we make a deal? If I buy 10,000 mugs, because I really think the I'm a wine princess bitch uh, is going to be the thing, of the, the thing of the summer of 2020. If only not for COVID, we could have really um, made a go of it with the wine princess bitch. Uh, it's not what happened. All right. It, there's websites you can go to. You, you upload files. And you can just, you know, and, and they, they take care of it. So I'm not sitting there, you know, people probably accusing me of fucking hoarding uh, porcelain. I'm not a criminal. Uh, the campaign didn't take off. Uh, we've rebooted it, though, because it's, it's a bold expression. I don't, you have to find an episode called I'm a Wine Princess Bitch. I don't even remember what it's about. It's iconic, though. And so I, you, you can go onto my Twitter. Um, I shall find the address because there's a link on, on my tr- the top of my Twitter page. Uh, there's also, well, there'll, there'll be a link in the episode. You'll follow that link to a link. And there is now an I'm a wine princess bitch t-shirt, which is actually pretty cool. It's got my iconic anthropomorphic wine bottle character uh, holding a butcher knife with blood. Um, I think I have it here. The picture. This is the picture it's based on. I, you know, it's from my, back in my art days when I was working at the morgue. Uh, iconic, right? All right. This is what you, you, you wanted merch. You wanted me to have catchphrases. You wanted bells and whistles. All right. We're going multimedia. I'm going to get my asshole waxed. I'm not going to show it on camera, but like I had to go to the dentist today and they're color matching the fake teeth they're putting into my head. Because he's like, you know, he's look, he's, he's p- putting, he I mean, has me hold a mirror. Because um, I famously got duped into buying implants. Because I have terrible credit, but somehow they they found it in their heart to, you know, to give me a fucking, what was it, like six grand in, in debt? Like you just have, you can have credit for this. It's, it's funny how that works. Not when I want to buy, uh, you know, a fucking, what do they call those things? That I can't fit into. Kayak. They wouldn't let me buy a kayak. They wouldn't let me buy a cool Moog synth. One of those $5,000 Moog synths. That have all the buttons and the cords. And you know. I could fucking you know. Just be like some fucking bald guy. Playing a synth. To like, like a Wizard of Oz. They wouldn't give me. No, that, that, but for stupid fake teeth. That they, they convince you you have to get for some reason. I had a moment of weakness. And I fucking, and, and so they, they, they screw these fucking stems into my mouth back in like February. And, uh, yeah, I mean, then COVID happened. So, you know, you have to heal or whatever. So the point is, um, I just had stems sticking out of my gums for the past six months. Every time I eat steak, every time I, um, you know, try to enjoy some nice, uh, gelatin, some, some not jelly. Some it was jellies, the jelly candies, the the Mike and Ikes. It just gets stuck on the stems, like a fucking animal. Um, so I'm finally getting him in. I'm doing an impression, and he's like, you know, I, I had to chew on his fucking weird mm, gum. It wasn't that great. Um, I've been avoiding it because of the pandemic, and I realized I waited so long that the new pandemic is gearing up. Um, so hopefully I don't catch it, but you know, who knows, who knows if I'm going to 
Is the audio sound? I think I have my headphones turned too high up. I need it, though. I need the headphones to be very high up so I can, you know, drown out my own thoughts and just keep going. Uh, sounds crunchy. Um, so he's, he's, I'm holding a mirror to my own face, and he's holding up these, like, samples of, like, dirty-looking teeth. And he goes, and he's just like, this one, yours are a little darker than this even, though. And he's like, you think you might have your teeth whitened? Hey, look, look, can you look at me for a second? You know, I'm wearing, like, basketball shorts, and, and my hair is, uh, you know, I'm fat. Um, I'm, I got a, I'm a fucking am, a hoodie from Hanes. Do I look like, I mean, I asked that, well, how, how, you know, what's that involved? He's like, you sit here for, whatever, point at 400 bucks. Yeah, maybe I'll do it. Maybe when I get uh, the wine princess bitch, you know, show takes off. Where I'm just traveling around America, a post-COVID America, force not forcing, it's never forcing, but like pushing on them, uh, you know, rich housewives to drink uh, this wine that I, you know that I'm hawking. I'm, I'm the wine curator. I go to rich like people who don't claim to be rich, but they're rich, but they're like you know, they only, their husband only makes like three million a year or some shit like that. You know, they're they're on the come up, and. Uh, and I'm, I, I go and they have these wine cellars in their houses, and I go into them and I just start fucking calling them a whore, telling them they're, they're bar- you're, you're a barren woman. You fucking, this was this a raw child, 68. You're such a fucking clown. You should, you should have gone to college. You really should have gone to college or at least cosmetic, cosmology school where, they, where these women go, beauty school. You, I'll, I'll, you know, you should mash some makeup into your face because you're the dumbest animal alive. I have no idea what I'm doing. It's that's how crazy. You know, for ten years now, these shows mean, make no sense. Uh, they're gonna give it to me because these shirts are gonna take off. The shirts are gonna be a sensation. People are gonna be walking around the mall uh, after the kid dies from COVID or the 35 year old son who was not, who was you know the triathlon athlete who died of COVID, despite the president's claims. Um, he was shot in the face, uh, but he also had COVID. You can't rule both either one out. They both they were both comorbidities, um, and they're walking around the mall and they see this weird, like violent looking, you know, picture on a, on a shirt, and they go, "I this is you know this is me," because you know this is just it's that it, it's just it's like the smiley face and uh, whatever. The point is, you know, a lot, a lot of widow, you know widows walking around with like this shirt. It's gonna take off. And then I'll become the wine. That'll be my character. You all think I'm just the guy who had a rat in his shoe and fucking eats, you know, and broke his fucking tooth on a bean burrito. But uh, I'm, ex- you know, I can be palatable to the middle of the country or the Silicon Valley. Um, I'll have the wine app. I'll tell you what, you know, what kind of food to pair with your wine. Maybe it'll be, uh, you know, it'll be like, it'll be the kind of thing where it's like, yeah, you know, they act like food pairings are like you know, just for fancy food, but uh, you can actually pair it with anything, which is not true. Bro. I mean, can you? But it, that's just one of my pitch. It's the kind of thing that is like not true, but they will. It, it will work as a show because I'll be like, "You're gonna pair this, you know, Chateau the fuck duck with a a meatball sub um, that you know one of those frozen." What were those things you used to get at Price Club? Those, like, frozen rib sandwiches? But they weren't, like, McRibs. But they were bad. Or, like, those hamburgers. Like that. I'm just, like, I'm, I'm bringing that. And it's, but it's not Caddyshack, all right? This is not me, like, trying to take the piss out of rich people. I'm just lying to get in with them. It's a different thing. I'm not going to lambast them. There's not going to be any kind of thing at the end where we're all laughing at, the, you know, the, the guy with his checkered pants and he loses the golf having and, the, and, and you know, the... The explosions and the ch- whatever. That's not what this is. I'm trying to become um, reacclimated into society here. Um, and you're going to help me by, by buying these shirts and wearing these shirts and just being proud. And, you know, I'm going to go to these houses. Ooh, geez. I'm going to go to these houses and just, uh, you know, tell them, look, I, th- I think you're, ki- uh, it'll be a thing where, like, oh, oh, that wine really doesn't pair well with lasagna. Um, by the way, I saw your son. When, you know, when I went to the bathroom, I passed by his room. He he ha- has a learning disability? And she's like, no. We're like, I think he does. And she's like, no. We, we actually had him tested just to be safe. Test him again. 
what'd you see? And I was like, he was just mashing his teeth into a, into like a, in the carpet and just, you know, uh, and just coughing. Um, I mean, I'm lying. I'm just slandering this kid. And, and I, cause you don't want to say, like, I want to say, like, oh, he's a dick. Make, make up something. Like, you don't want to sexualize it. Whatever. Leave it, like, weird. Be like, you know, he was, I, I saw him just trying to read a book, and he was crying. Crying because he couldn't read a Where's Waldo book. I don't know. This will be the fun stuff I get into. It seems like, why would you do that? Because that's kind of the, the, the it's, it's never spoken, but it's kind of the gimmick of the show. I'm just a liar. Um, even, but not about wine. About wine, I mean, I am a liar, but we're, we're, we never we never break that facade. It's, I, I lie about everything else, but I don't lie about the wine, even though it's old horse shit. I hate wine. Wine gives me a headache. Um, it, I, I, can I, can I, if you give me really good wine, do I taste the, the grapes? It will get, I don't drink, I don't like grapes that much. Oh, you can take, people think it's some great thing when you can just taste the things that can't, you know, oh, you can really taste the, Acidity in this wine, or this one has has you know chocolate soil. Who cares? Like, what is this one? Are these those jelly beans that like taste like things? You know, like what is it, what was it called, Mister Jelly Bean or whatever? Because I grew up, it was just primary color jelly beans. That's all you had. You had jelly beans that were just, uh, you know, it, it was all red and green and blue. And then there was Mister Jelly Bean or whatever or Jelly Bean Boys. Uh, gourmet jelly beans, and they'd be like, "This, this is a jelly bean that tastes like popcorn, buttered popcorn." That's this jelly bean, and that is this jelly bean tastes like a, you know, uh, B- duck larange. And it's like, what are we doing here? Like, you know, are these food tabs? What kind of nerd? Like, I mean, jelly beans aren't even that good. Like, give me, a, give me a, a, you know, a, atomic warhead. Or one of those crybabies. Just the kids still do that. These you, you young people, do you still eat the sour candies as a, as a sign of virility and manhood? Oh, look at that guy. He's a big, powerful man. He he eats sour things. That used to be a thing. We used to think it was like, oh, this guy's tough enough to eat a warhead. It's like you just you like sucking on sour shit. It's not. It doesn't make you the. You know, it doesn't mean you're gonna be good in the fight. I learned that the hard way because you know, but I wasn't the big. I don't know who who starts these sour things. Like these, like I, I get the candies, whatever. But who, wh- where did it become? Like in prison, do they do that? I've never seen, you know, uh, any shows about prison where, like, you know, so you better if you don't, you know, hey, new fish, why don't you w- taste one of these sour dumplings that we have and see if you can be part of our gang? And then you know, and then they rape him um, because he doesn't. See, I, I, I mentioned recently. I think we talked, I forget where we talked about it, that, you know, does everyone who goes to prison get raped? No, but if you don't eat sour foods, you will be. Um, not to make light of it, it's just like, but that's the kind of thing that, because it's not a weakness. You know, when you're in prison, you're kind of forced to, um, you can't just stay out of it. You, you know, if you're part of some crew, and like, you, everyone gets lumped into a crew pretty much, I think. I don't know. I mean, there are guys who like go it alone, but then you get your dessert stolen probably. So you have to eat the sour food and just try to get in with these people and just, you know, get, keep your head down. But if you flinch for one goddamn second while you're eating that atomic warhead, they're going to fuck, they're going to smash, they're gonna, you're going to wish they put a brick in your face. Um, they, and they, and then, then they will. Because, you know, after the raid, then they knock you out. And then you wake up, um, and it's just the warden's, like, the, he's, he's eating sour gummy worms. Looking at you, going like you fucked up big time. You, no one wants to be your friend. Cause that's how it is in prison. <laughs> no one wants to be your friend in prison. Um, right. I, you know, normally I'd move on, but I feel like I had something more to go with that. The point. What was the point? The point was a uh, sour foods, and then the pairing with the the duck. Right. Oh, the jelly beans. So it's like, yeah, I, I don't understand um, this idea of why. Well, you know. What do you do? You taste the uh, the, the dog shit in the in the ground too. Like I mean, do you taste? Who cares? It's like if it was good. It's like, like I like expensive whiskey and scotch. Like, I, like I'm not gonna like, hold it against you for. Like, I don't buy expensive scotch, but I'm not gonna hold it against you for um, you know buying single malts. Um, and like they taste kind of peaty. And I don't mind. It's, it's a complex flavor, but like. 
just make it, make it, make it scotch. Like make it a night. I don't need to like. This is not one of those paintings that turns into something else when you look at it. Those three D paintings, and it's like, oh, it was a penis the whole time. It's like, I mean, that's how did that not be like everyone you saw? How, like they, they put they. That's how corrupt Disney is. Because I didn't see one three D painting where like a guy just put his prick in there and make kids watch it. But they put in the in the Lion King and the in the Little Mermaid. Um, Right there in the open. So, what you know, it is what it is. Um, so, I, whatever. I'm going to be the wine aficionado, I guess. I'm going to be, you know, just, your mom's going to love me. I'm going to hate her. I'm going to tell her, you know, may, maybe your kid should uh, think about having you euthanized. And it's just going to be fun. Um, I'm a wine, but it'll, every episode will start with, like, it's me, the wine princess, bitch. Cause I won't, I won't, I won't even have like a, a cool way to say it. It'll just be one sound. Hey, it's me. I'm, it's the, I, I'm the wine princess, bitch. Doesn't make any sense. It's, it started out as a as an actual sentence, but now it's just a trademark that I have. That's what life is now. If you don't, you know, by the time twenty twenty four rolls around, if you don't have a trademark, you might as well just, you know, I don't want, I can't say kill yourself, but yeah, you know, it's not looking pretty. You better find a, an intellectual property, um, a brand that you can monetize. All right, this is not a game. You know, oh, you, you don't want to have a, a Twitch streaming show because you don't actually play video games. Yeah, good luck with that. All right, do, do, do you do you? Oh, you don't enjoy playing video. Do you enjoy putting you know mayonnaise in a jar in an assembly line? Because that happened, and you know, it, this is our life now. Is that is that thing? People did people put me. I mean, I know there's probably robots who do it now, but like at some point, with someone it was like, was the assembly line just of jars, and then some like Rosie the Riveter would have to like just scoop mayonnaise into the jar and like use their hands and just force it in the jar. Disgusting. I mean, honestly, I mean, is is mayonnaise sterile? It might be. Mayonnaise is sterile. That's again. Now we go. See, here's the thing. These shirts are only available for 20 days. Uh, it's a thing they do. It's campaigns. It's scarcity. And we're going to have other things later. But they're collectible. Collectible. All right? So you get the I'm a wine princess. Sh- it's actually a cool shirt. Um, it really, I mean, I'm not trying to be a pitch man here. But it actually, it's, it started as a joke, but I would actually wear this. Um but next, and then there'll be, there'll be other things. There'll be the, the you know a, your mayonnaise wife and you know or like you know is and mayonnaise is sterile. A lot of mayonnaise themed shirts. There'll be merch that is just um, a Hawaiian lei. Is this appropriation? It might be. But I was just gonna be. Um, but it was just gonna you know I, you know it just got a picture of my dead wife on it, which I you know whatever. So like something like that. But no one's gonna get that. They can't be that obscure. You can't just put murder victims on T-shirts and sell them on the internet. I mean, I can't. Why don't people do that? If you're going to be a person, because they sell the serial killer memorabilia. Memorabilia? Well, you know, this is scummy enough. If you're gonna, you might as well just sell, like, all the prostitutes who get murdered, put them on a shirt. Like, if, like I'm not, I, I would never do that. But there's people out there who make child porn. There's people out there who make... You know, like just celebrate serial killers, and you know, it's like I, you can't comprehend any of it. So why not just, you know, I guess because no one knows that's a part of the problem. If, if the shirt would do well, then the, that would mean the cops would care because they would care about this person. Like that's the thing about serial killers; they're why they're weak and cowardly because they only kill. You know, so if serial killers killed um, the I'm the wine princess bitch guy, you know, then you have a little like okay, you're you know Mark David Chapman. You know, you put them above that. There's people in my hallway. I should fucking just throw acid in the hallway. Hopefully just miss through the air. Get, get some get acid face. Everyone just likes to talk in the hallway. Like, is there some fucking they're in some West Wing show? Like, they're on the, the West Wing special. Did you see this? I spent a hell of a time. What are they doing? Are they having a gut? What the fuck is going on out there? These people are fucking maniacs. I should have them fucking arrested. Um, the cops would shoot me though. This West Wing special that was going on, I spent like an hour, hours, like trying to find HBO Max. 
It's only on HBO Max. It turns out, I'm a big Aaron Sorkin. We all know this. We all, I'm a West Wing boy. And then uh, it, it turns out they're just in the Orpheum Theater 20 years later, like re- doing an episode that was already filmed, like season three or something. I mean, I, it's not actually, I'm just mad about it. I'm mad that it was bad. Even though Aaron Sorkin's new, the new movie he made about the Chicago 7, that was actually a good movie. Uh, it's on Netflix. Go watch that. Back to the story, though. Because we're throwing acid. No, that was just an aside. See, they, they threw me off because I'm like, they had me thinking about just how I can kind of be a, you know, serial killers, like, you know, that's a thing. They, like, they take all the fucking joy. You know, you think about murdering people sometimes. Everyone does. If I carry a sting, you would never do it. But, like, when you do, you imagine, like, oh, this guy, this guy who, when I was asking out, you know, that girl at the at the Hot Topic, and he he made fun of my, uh, my, my, Carmelo Anthony T-shirt that they had. It was a it was a shirt of Carmelo Anthony, um, and Jesus that my mom gave me. And he made fun of it. Um, I mean that would be a cool shirt, Carmelo Anthony and Jesus. Point is like you know I'm I'm gonna take that I'm gonna put bullets in that guy's skull, make him fucking and then suck blood out of his head. I'm just gonna shoot him in the eye and suck all the eye and pus and brain out of him. Like that's what normal people do. But these serial killers, they just, you know, it's just joyless. It's like, I, I can't get an erection unless I'm shooting a hooker. It's like, well, this is whatever they do. They cut them up and they skin. It's like, why are, like, they're just nerds who, like, you know, like, yeah, oh, you can overpower, like, a little woman? Yeah, right? Like, I mean, what, you, what, you do six push-ups? Congratulations. Real man. You know, Jeffrey Dahmer's just drugging me. Like, whatever. I mean, are we going to start giving, like, Cosby props for drugging women and raping them. I mean, like, oh, you look. I mean, I know it's rape, but it's still pretty impressive. Even though, even though it was drugged, there's still good numbers. Like, no, no one says that. So why are we giving any props? Like, you shouldn't be afraid of these creeps. Let them go fight the Navy SEALs at least. I mean, at least Navy SEALs fight soldiers. I mean, you know, not it's asymmetric um, for a lot of reasons, but they fight them. Um, whatever. The point is. The point is, uh, what is the point? We were on to something, and now it's, uh, it's, it's fleeting in the wind. All right, but it's going to be new shirts all over the place. It's going to be mayonnaise shirts. It's going to be, maybe I'll make one of this guy, this Corona thing. You, you, you'll love. Uh, it's all going to be, maybe I'll uh, do have someone render me in art. Because um, I'm the artist usually, but I'll, I'll have myself. Maybe I'll paint myself. Maybe I'll paint my. That's the thing. It's all, but eventually it's just, but this is all in service of getting me to the wine princess bitch. Um, it doesn't matter that it makes no sense. You people going like, it's not even funny. I can picture the comments. Go, Look, why do you keep talking about the wine princess? It's not even a funny thing. It's a, it's a point. This is what we, like, you, you have to, I'm trying to help you. You have to bunker down and come up. Like I'm, no, no one wants your good ideas. Oh, you found like a, a a wireless router that won't ever disconnect. No one cares. Oh, I built a car that'll run on garbage. No one wants it. We just we want to watch our parents have sex. We want we want to just see crazy things. We want we want to just uh, you know have have massive fires in L.A. and floods in the in the northwest. Was no east west the west south. Where's Florida and New Orleans? The southeast. We want that. And we want floods and we want piss and we want to just I mean, they want we want to watch the wine princess bitch guy and then um I don't know, maybe maybe LeBron James. LeBron James will still be the champion. He'll be he'll be, you know, he and I will be best friends. He's a big wine guy. He drinks the wine. Um you know, but they drink it in a barbershop. Like, I'm, look, I'm not sure he's into wine. Oh, uh, he's a real wine buff. He's really into wine. I'm sure he, I'm not slandering the guy. He's just the jock or whatever. No, I'm sure he does know wine. But the guy's, like, worth $500 million about. So, like, yeah, it's, like, he, it's it's something he goes, yeah, I'll just drink this, like, Pepsi. And I know he appreciates it. But, like, there's something classy about that where he's, like, yeah, I'll just drink this fucking raw child thing that you, you oh, I, 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 got to, I, I, bid, I bid this guy and, you know, look, I overspent a little bit, but, you know, this is going to be nice. And you, and you treat it like it's nice. And, uh, and like, you bring it out some party. And you're trying to, like, even though, like, you're, 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 you're a wealthy guy, but you're trying to impress me. LeBron James just pouring that into, like, J.R. Smith's ear as a prank. 
No one cares. Like, that's what money is now. You have to have so much money that you just, people hate you. You need to have, you know, you have to be, you have to, like, just, you have to somehow make the world um, become a villain. It's not, but even if you're like Jeff Bezos, like, I like Amazon, you know, it's actually very helpful. Um, but somehow he's a villain. A lot of Musk with these cars are probably nice cars, but he's a scoundrel. He's the worst person who's ever existed. A lot of Musk. Um, so it's like, you know, there's some kind that they get it. I mean, you look at Trump. I know uh, there's people who like him, but a lot of people hate him. And he's very divided. They, it's, but that's the thing. It's not the people who like him. It's the people who lo- they want hate. We're like, we're, it's a whole thing happening. So yeah, I'm the wine prince. Oh, the Kardashian, are they actually talented? Yeah, I don't know. They made a hundred million dollars and you watch they take that dick. It, it's irrelevant now. I mean, you have to take your brain out of this equation. Um, it's all about, it's not enough to be talented. You have to pull off something. You have to pull off a scam uh, that's so, like, no, no one gets tricked is the thing. Like, we all know it's a scam, and we do it anyway. That's, I guess, postmodernism. I mean, I mean, look, the modern era was what? The 50s? The 40s? How is everything still postmodern? I mean, you're going to tell me, like, you know, the 60s are postmodern, but we're still the... No, I mean, there's got to be a new word for it, is my point. The cump. That's very cump. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm squatting on it. I'm the first guy to think of trademarking it. Um, there was the modern era, there's the postmodern era, there's the comp era. And it has nothing to do with me. I mean, it will when my new show comes out. Point is, buy the shirt, get early in on this. You don't want this to be like, you want to be the asshole buying Supreme in 2020, right? Like, you want to be the guy who had it. You got the pussy from it. You got the fucking respect from it, from having these things, these nice things early. You know, you, you think you got, if I wear a Supreme shirt, and I go, you know, some, some hot bar, you know, Long Island, when it, you know, and with the hot Italians and, and Irish and, and, and Latinas and black women, old women, all these different women, and I'm wearing a Supreme shirt, they're going to, like, notice it and can't. No. Like, at one point, that was a thing. At one point, if you were rolling around on a skateboard with Supreme, you know, you could just, you know, you could have your dick out. And, like, not everyone would suck it, but, you know, it would get licked a few times, you know, on your way to work, you know the community would help out. And, like, that's what comp is going to be. It's going to be that kind of thing where it's like, it's just, this is great. And gonna, gonna, you know, there's going to be people out of work on lines to buy these things. Eventually, we have a store, these pop-up stores, and it's just going to be, you have to, like, wait online for it. So these, like, people who, these less fortunate people will wait online and they'll, and they'll sell it on eBay. It's, it'll be a whole economy. I'm the new Supreme. Um, so, yeah. You're part of your. You get to say, "Hey, I was hanging out in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, in 2006. You guys are all like, you know, you guys got here late." And it's like you know, one of those assholes. You get to be that. There's nothing more fun than that. You go, "Oh, this is really dangerous." There was a lot of dentists and artists who lived here, but I toughed it out because I'm a punk. Uh, I'm a punk kid. We live in a punk house. I, I, I know people who grew up here. Like, my grandparents lived here the whole, their whole life. It's like, no, it was just, I, mean, I just come here every summer. It was all artists. It was, it was like, whatever. It was never like, it wasn't, uh, you know, rough and tumble. It wasn't Popeye. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't the second season of The Wire. I was, I was in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. It, it, shut up, right? Uh, no one cares. But, you know, they will care about you having come early on. So enough of the infomercial. Um, a comp can opener. That would be fun, right? A comp, let's just say, uh, a, a, a comp, I should brand so many things. Because that's the thing. It, the gimmick would start being, like, why is this guy, who, who is this guy? Is he, like, a motivational guy? Or is he a, it, like, it would kind of be like Martha Stewart, but it'll be, like, a, 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 a can opener. And then a comp uh, child's birthday party fun pack uh, kit. With like, a box. It's actually a sealed box and comes with, like, just sh- terrible games. It comes with like a bootleg Monopoly and um, six um, individually wrapped, you know, crappy chocolate chip cookies. Um, maybe like a, a kazoo. It comes with like a, two kazoos. Um, cause one kazoo could be the birthday boy kazoo. And like, you know, when you're a kid, you go, well, he's, he's the birthday boy, so he gets the kazoo. That's That seems fair. But one extra kazoo just so that, you know, he has to pick someone, he or she, 
It's, it's a gender neutral box. Uh, we'll have to pick one of his friends, their, their friend, excuse me, their friends, they, them, their friends, uh, to, we don't want to, you know, we don't want to get them, there's an entire, there's two markets here, boys and girls, we want both. That's the thing, this is what corporate policy is about. You know, that's, oh, why are the corporates woke? Because they want to sell to everyone, just like I, I want to sell my kit to these, you know, all these parents. You know, money, print it. So the point is, kazoo, extra kazoo. And he's looking, you know, let's give it to a friend, uh, one of their friends, and everyone else is just enraged. Everyone else wants to, um, you know, kids might get killed, honestly, you know, as I'm thinking about this. I'm, you know, it doesn't mean I'm not going to do it. But I'm acknowledging the risk because that's how good of an idea. The intention is, you know, you could say it's a bad idea, but I, I intend for this to happen. It's a fun dynamic for me. But I'm so good at it that a kid might get killed and I'll get sued. Um, that's how I, I create experiences for these people, right? I create um, something to look back on. Like, that's going to motivate um, some guy to invent um, a new virus, Um you know, he goes to school to be a virologist, but he screwed up. And like, I actually, I actually made a virus. Um, this never would have happened if, uh, if I didn't, you know, get so have that kazoo experience when I was a kid. Um, it doesn't matter. You might go, why do you want to inflict? I don't want to inflict it on the world. It just is what it is. All right. You have to be bold. You have to just. It, it doesn't matter if it works. You know, being in a company. You ever worked in a company, right? You, you see how it works. It's not about being good. This is a real, this is real talk now. It's all real talk. This is, but come on, this is you know this is you've seen this. It's not about. It's about telling your boss that like no problem. I'll that's a great idea and we'll do it even though it's not a good idea and it's actually will hurt everyone if you do it. But you, you you say you can do it. You're just there to be a full guy, right? You're you're there to be expendable. Uh, it's like the mafia. Like they like you. If you were willing to accept the uh, position of, um, like, they'll promote you when, you don't, when you're not qualified. But then they'll, as long as you go along with these, you know, ideas, right? And, and, and you say, this is great. And you champion them. And you don't, you don't, you know, uh, make a, f- a fuss like Ray and go, like, this is, this is actually, can I, can I point out uh, where, where your where you're f- thinking is flawed? No one wants that. All right. They want, decisive uh men in this case it's you know they, they don't want i don't know why i want decisive women i love it but i'm just telling you you know i'm looking at these, these numbers apparently they're not I, I don't know i'm not a sociologist but yeah I, i'm not going to speak for women but the point is i like men with shiny hair who just say yeah why not uh get these kids killed with kazoos it's fine um i have made my money i licensed it to some company um so it's fine for me I mean, do I want, like, there's going to be kids dying every day from, like, toxic rain by the time this happens. And, like, you know, kids are just going to kind of, like, you know, kill each other, like, very casually. Uh, even though it's not going to, it's not going to get that bad. Before it even gets that bad, they'll just do that. Like, you know, privileged, you know, middle class, you know, white kids and stuff, or, like, in the middle of Westchester, will just be stabbing each other. Um, just because, you know, it, there's there needs to be... We're all, we're all, like, you know, we need that greediness, right? Like, that's what everyone says. Oh, New York was better when it was gritty. Everyone feels that way. We all have to pretend like we want, um, we don't want to be living in the suburbs or in a, in a gentrified city or in, you know, this resort city they have in Disney World or Disneyland. Which one's World, right? Was it Destination in Alaska? No. What? How would that be? How would that be the town built by Disney next to Disney? World? Destination Alaska. It's not even the name of the of that movie, which I'm not even sure if it's a Disney movie. How many levels of wrong could I be about that? Anyway, um, J- Nome, Alaska. What was that movie? It doesn't matter. That's not the point. What was that? What, what, Destination City? Uh, Virtue? Vir- Virtue Island? I, I honestly can't remember. What, what? Town built by Disney. What is it called? Uh, resort land. Disney. What is it called? Celebration Florida. Imagine living in Celebration Florida and just having to pretend like, oh, I, this sucks. 
oh, Goofy is my mailman, and uh, there's got there's grown men dressed up like the, the rescue rangers, and like oh, I, but I'm privileged. No, you, you don't love it. You know, your your kids are just you know when they go to school, they're just a roaming Donald D- guy in a Donald Duck outfit. Um, smells like smells terrible. He's just in, in the school's not very good because there's only like you know how many families there, but. Uh, but you gotta pretend like he, like who you care. He's like he's a kid. It's not your problem. You you bought this life for him. Oh, is, is your school not great? Well, are you gonna be a doctor? I mean, let's let's, let's not, stop kidding ourselves, son. Go play with Goofy. Go play with these. It's just you know, it, it, it's a hellscape. But you know, I mean, if I could go to a, a land made of synthesizers and just plug cords into you know stupid synths. All day and tell my kids this is so great when you're living in the future. Is Pete? Look, just have a hobby. Like I'm, I'm not gonna. Why are you into? Di- can you imagine? I mean, are you people actually still doing this? You see people on Twitter. How are you into? Di- how is that question is forty years old? How are you into? Di- At this point, it's, it's all come full circle. Oh, how are grown people going to Disney World? I mean. They should be like injecting whatever's inside a fluorescent bulb into their skin, it's blood. I mean, there's no more judgment here. All right, go to Celebration Florida, let your kid learn nothing, and he'll be better off. Uh, it's fine. They should have a salami city. They should have a, a bratwurst city. Um, different sausages. There's probably towns that like pretend that they've made or the town who invented bratwurst. No, I'm talking about a commercialized um, municipality owned by a corporation that's cultivated and curated to not be for sauce, like, you know, guys who like really into sausage and like the casing is really good. And you, when you bite into it, you get the snap. No, no, no. Just like Jimmy Dean sausage uh, Primo, that cheap brand in the supermarket. I mean, you can make, there'll be some good stuff occasionally, but there is no. That's that's for the birds, man. Like, oh, like, you know, you actually can really get into. No, just it's like when your dad plays golf, right? I don't know if you experience. My, I feel like it's a universal experience somehow, because my dad was into golf. Now he didn't. I, he got into it for a couple of years. He wasn't like a pedigreed golf boy who, like, you know, whatever. I mean, is golf even that? He didn't grow up playing golf. Is my point. I mean, what do I care? I'm, 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 I'm trying to, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't want to seem like a rich. I wasn't a rich kid. Why am I being defensive? He played golf at like public court. Uh, that's I think that's classy. That's why I'm afraid of like, oh, we don't want to look like. Are you know how embarrassing that that should be for me. So I'm like, you know, if someone who actually was had money in class was like, oh, I don't want to seem like I'm bragging. My dad. <laughs> Some weekends would go to a public golf course and spend twenty dollars, and and he'd play golf. And like, and I'm like, oh, we had it pretty good, I guess. <laughs> Fat idiot. But um, point is, he played golf, and so every time family came over for Christmas or his birthday, like every gift would be some stupid novelty gift. Like you know, it, it, there was some jar of can, like uh, it looked like a medicine uh, bottle or whatever. And it was like putter pills make you know helps you with the putting. It wasn't even good puns. Uh, we're just stupid like a stupid thing you put in your desk at the office of a guy playing golf and maybe his pants are falling down. I forget. But like it's just like you you like one thing and that's your identity now and that's what life is. I mean that's, that's what's gonna make you happy. You need these things. You need something. So like when someone wants to buy, no one's gonna care about. I don't, don't want to break this to you. But, like, if you're looking for, like, actual attachments, actual connections with real people, um, good luck. All right? That's, that, no one really cares about you. You, you, don't, you don't get that. You know, Bob Kardashian gets it uh, or whoever. Um, you know, the trademark guys get it. The guys who have, you know, merch, the Supreme guy. That's who you, at best, will have, like, a, a one of, like, ten designated hobbies. And you go... Well, is he a basketball boy or a golf boy or is he a synthesizer? It won't even be synthesizer. That's too. It'll just be like you know. You'll you'll have so they'll give you the stupid novelty gift, um, and that's the theme of the sausage place, the sausage you know, uh, sausage city. Let's we'll call it, um, and just just a, a lot of sausage. It's just like you know, it, quantity over quality is really the, the motif of the day. Um, so yeah. There should be that. So um, 
get in early on the shirts at the point. Um, what else happened? I wanted to play this clip because I feel like tr- he's tr- he's trying to steal from me. This guy's trying to steal from me. You know who he is. You you know him. You love him, or you don't. But he's a he's a figure. I'm gonna play this clip. I usually play clips here. I'm playing a clip. Let's see if this works. I can now jump into the audience and give you all a big kiss. The women and the men. I'll kiss. I'll even kiss the men. I'll kiss those big, powerful men down there. I won't love it, but I'll kiss. That's what is he doing? That's me. That's my energy. He's stealing from me. I would say something. I mean, like I'm not saying I'm not trying to humanize the guy here, but uh, I have no problem with him kissing men. People are like you know trying. To, I don't know how you pull that off. How you make fun of Trump? I mean, if the right wants to do it, okay. But you know, I don't think they want to at the moment. But like, the, how is the left making fun of Trump or saying he'll kiss men? Like. I mean, I mean, I see these, these these posts going up. It seems bizarre. Um, it's fine. I mean, why not? Like, I'll suck their dicks. I'll 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 put the Star Spangled Banner while I'm giving a guy a hand job because I'm immune from COVID. No, like, focus on you know, people. Are like, oh, he's was he gay? Yeah, well, maybe he is. I mean, he's he's a, he's a rich guy. And he's probably um, he's you know he eats the steaks that are burned. So why wouldn't he also try different? You know. He decided he liked that. Is my point. Like he could have, he could have like you know steaks that most people like that are medium rare or rare. But he likes burnt steak. He, he must have tried burnt steak at one point. And said, I like this, and so maybe he fucking also likes, you know, whatever. I mean, I, it's not that. It's not the gate thing. It's just but you look at these powerful men. He's stealing from. Me. This is like, now he used to talk like he's coming down to my level. He used to be much more. Um, I mean, he wasn't a great orator. He wasn't you know Noam Chomsky. But uh, I don't like this. He's encroaching on me. He, if he thinks he's gonna get this wine princess, you know, uh, piece of the market, you know, just because he he's gonna, he's gonna float back in after you know taking all those years off the Apprentice, go back to the Apprentice. Have the Apprentice where you you, you torture people in, in Guantanamo or so. I don't find a gimmick, but stay out of my you know um, wheelhouse is all I'm saying. Oh, uh, what else is going on? What else indeed? 47. We had a few minutes. Okay, hold on. Just hold. Can, can you hold on? Relax. I'm, in order to play that, I had to have this uh, Twitter. I searched on Twitter for it because there's different versions of it. Not that, I don't want to dwell. Everyone seems to be talking. About it. I hate being the guy. Hey, I'm also going to give you my take on the Trump ki- daddy kiss you moment. Like, it, it is gross, right? It's a gross. I have to, excuse me. I'm, I'm, I need to develop a new system for this video because every time I move, I'm out of frame. It's fine. People like it. I got the cool images, and they're all going to be shirts, and that's how you know they mean something because you wear it and whatever. People love shirts. I've, I've been wearing the same shirts for four years, but people love shirts, and you're good. it's cool. You can get, have a shirt. I'm kidding, but I'm not. Buy the shirt. But the point is... Yeah, I'm going on frame is the point. I need, I need to be, have a, a like a rotating camera around me. We need to raise the you know the, the production value of this show. I need to you know be playing a synthesizer and a guitar, uh, hot women, um, and they're all and we're all just eating sausage and pissing ourselves. But whatever. Um, I digress. The strange thing, it's a, it's a motif he's been doing though. Like he's been doing. I, I, he. I took me a while to find the video. I'm not that well. I'm not a moron, but like, because I saw it on Twitter, and I was just, I was taken back with the all these powerful men. Look at these powerful men. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's endearing almost. Like you know, you have to remember. Um, no, you, know, you don't. It, it's it, that's how endearing it is to me. He's just, look, 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 all these powerful men. Look, kiss these powerful men. I, I I can't even hate that. I mean, it's great. Even if he's doing a like, if he's smart enough to like know that that would work. That's crazy. Um, and I'm not saying it will work. I don't even know what's going on um, with the scope of the election and all. It's fine. Like, whatever, I'm not saying whatever happens, happens. But what, am I, if me, you know, looking at polling data and like, I'm going to call up Hunter Biden and be like, you better get your dad's head out of his ass and go to Ohio District 2. No. Like, and none of you are either. No, there's like six people who know that stuff. Um, we all, everyone talks about, oh, Hillary didn't campaign in Ohio that. All right, like, like, there's like literally like, 
I don't even know who the version of it is. Like it used to be like James Carville, maybe, and like George, like the movie The War Room, where like it was James Carville and Stephanopoulos, uh, and they're just you know these young young hungry politics guys, whatever, like that, you know, whiz kids. But you don't you don't know. You're just like, well, I I like it when they play the f- national anthem and Hillary. Sh- sh- mic- you can't micromanage a camp. Shut up. It's not for you. Like it's kind of like like stocks. Like what you what you what you own ten shares of Exxon. Shut up. Unless you're actually like you know a day like, a tr- like on, on the floor of the stock exchange, just spitting on people and like in trading places, just selling frozen orange juice and not knowing what you even how this works. In the commodities exchange, then get out. Of, you know, no one. I, why is everyone so comfortable like talking about polling data? We just saw it didn't work. Uh, for you, I'm just it's the arm. It's just so get a hobby, and by hobby I mean sausage. All right, get in line for the sausage city. Um, stop war. It's gonna happen. Is my point. I'm not. I, I don't have Hunter Biden's phone number. Uh, if I did, I'd be just asking for dick pics all day long, saying, you know, hey, if you want someone to suck? I don't say I don't need to suck. I mean, I'm not even that. He's just the guy who like it'd be a good story. Um. It would be. I mean, if you could, people are like, oh, I would love to be like in an argument with someone because I don't talk politics. Like, I do. Like, I talk here, but like, I don't, like, I'm, we're, not, we're not hashing it out. I don't get in fights about politics. I don't hash it out. But I would love to be hashing it out with a, with a Trump supporter. And they're like, uh, and what about Hunter Biden, that corrupt Hunter Biden boy and his daddy, you know, and the whole thing with that. And like, hey, you know what? You don't know what you're talking about because I suck that guy's dick. And it wouldn't, it'd be the, it wouldn't, that's the point is that it's not a great, it's just it, that, but that's what, that's why it's a great story to me. Just so I could yell, cause it's like, you just yelled at someone. Uh, it's a non sequitur. And if they had to wear it all, be like, well, that's fine, but you still a corrupt man. Then, you know, then they win, I guess. But, you know, but I still, it's still a better story is the point. Um, it's not about, again, it's not the gay. It's just that he's, you know, crack abuser. I, it's not the crack. It's that, it's, it's something about. Uh, there's something swaggery about him. There's something kind of character. He looks like a pirate or, um, you know, a guy who um, fakes his way through art school, but, like, has, a, you know, sexual charisma to get people to buy his paintings in the Lower East Side. That kind of, in the 80s, you know, that kind of guy. Just a, a guy who, like, the CIA tried to use to do something, and he just got really high, and then, like, a couple people died, but whatever. Like, they weren't that mad. Like, ah, look. He's like, hey, he actually called him up. He's like, I'm sorry. I overslept. Um, I was supposed to go, like, get pictures of that missile thing while I was doing that meet and greet. And, yeah, it's fine. You know, some people die, but whatever. We, we love you, Hunter. We're a big fan. Um, yeah, I'm just saying. So it's that that's the only reason I'd want to, like, yell. Because the whole me sucking his dick. Point is, um, how do we get on this? There was a point here. Um, yeah, but Trump is just, you know, saying this in, in all these different, you know, variations about how he's going to kiss the men. It's like time. It's weird because uh, he's not that he's good, but he's not right. Like the whole thing with him is that he's off the cuff uh, and just kind of um, stream of consciousness kind of. And like, he, he look, I, I get it. You, you get a pattern going and you get you get a kind of association going uh, and you and you hit the marks. And you just you you sound like you're just kind of speaking in tongues and almost like, and that was his thing, and now as he's kind of like oh this he's, he's, he sounds a little docile, he's like a, kind of getting a little loopy it seems like I'm not blaming he's older is he what, ninety years old whatever, uh, like this is a weird moment he's just riffing but he said it like three or four like four different times the reason I went I had to grab this one and look for that's is because. Uh, he didn't say the powerful boys. Or he didn't say, look, 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 these powerful men. But the rest of it, he said. Uh, it's an interesting thing to realize that he's premeditating about. It's something to learn from that. I'm not sure what. Um, we're going to find out in a couple of weeks. Not who wins, but, like, if this works. Because that's, like, you know, it, it wins, not wins. But, like, does this way of, uh, it, you know, if he pulls it off with that, if, if they if they look back in, in 10 years and go, look, this weird thing, we just threatening to kiss men in, 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 in rallies, like, it's gonna, like, if, that's, if that's the political um, silver bullet, that would, I mean, I would say, I, I was going to say it would be shocking or like, it would be amazing, but, like, that's kind of what we're living now, where, like, that would be, it's like that would be the genius move. It's like, 
um, shoot the like the shoot the hostage thing. Which I what was the point of that? I don't even know. From speed, shoot the hostage. Um, but that's what it would feel like. It would feel like a stupid thing that like was what was he joking? He was joking about it, right? That's the thing he was joking, but it worked. Whatever. I don't know. But that's where we live. So you know, that's who we are. Um, Hunter Biden. What about him? I don't know. I had. Do they have another point? We're a little, you know, uh, we're a little just, you know, loose today. We're, we're playing jazz today with the, with these ideas, but it's all coming together. Um, why? Because I'm a wine princess, bitch. Name repetition. Sausage City. Um, maybe they'll sell your kids to corporations, but not in like the, not going to like make them work. They'll just, you know, but they'll make them brand ambassadors. They'll just, I mean, that'd be fun. Why not like... If they're gonna if if they're gonna do the whole climate you know killing everyone thing, why not be able to, like you should be able to sell your kids to Disney World, but they'd like it because they live at Celebration Village, and uh, and you get some money and they and they would just you know they would just be people they'd rather walk around in the um like the 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 the, the baby ducks, who like the Yui Louie Dewey the the the, the, the Ducktales ducks, um, while like you know rich kids you know. Went to do look. There's gonna be a tightening of the whole thing. We're like, it's interesting that we're trying to get universal health care in what might be like the di- the last moments before like just a, we, like half of us die, um, and not from Corona. I'm just saying like there's there's a lot going. We're, like we're, I feel like we're all being kind of pushed when the cows are pushed uh, into like you know through that like narrowing hallway thing. Until like you know, at the end, their 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 heads are chopped off or something, and they all know they're gonna die. Um, that might be what we're in. It's fine. Like, it's, oh, my, well, like, what do you care? It, look, if you die in a mass extinction event, what are you gonna regret not being able to tell your grandkids about all the you know the things you didn't do, but you so you know you you you're part of that generation. Oh, you know, I remember when the iPad came out. Actually, who cares? I remember when they invented. The PlayStation Four. Uh, I played those games that other men made. That's all. Like, that that's what you regret. You all, all your regrets are like just not being able to hold it over your grandkids that like you know, wasted your life and somehow bragging about it as you and you just smell like you're just looking forward to being some like guy who smells like and we all know like not all, all people don't have to smell like piss and stuff you know but a lot of them do but but there's plenty like I'm not taking dignity away from your grandma. If she cleans the piss off herself, kudos. But at the same time, that's what we're saying. Like, I, you wouldn't say that about you know the CEO of uh, Crate and Barrel. Uh, the second time I've mentioned Crate and Barrel in an episode, but you wouldn't say that. You go, ha, ha, is he a good CEO? The, the guy, the CEO of Crate and Barrel Corporation. Well, he doesn't smell like piss, so I'd say so. That's that's not a thing. So. Um, Lower standards for your grandma. So, like, I, you're proving my point. Um, the exception proves the rule, if you will. Um, yeah, well, it's fi- it is what it is. Like, try to fall in love with someone who has, you know, the same fake hobby as you. Um, like, I, this is what I'm saying. You could be, you need the novelty gift. Because I, I think I started this point before, and, and, and but, like, he, there's, a, there's a finite amount of actual love, all right? But someone will settle or just kind of um, use you as a placeholder and make a family with you and just, you know, and spend time in the same house and maybe love sex with you. But, you know, it'll, it'll, you'll exist. And you'll need, they'll need to give you a gift that, like, and it can't just be, like, here's some money. People, you know, it's, it's, we're, we're social beings. We have social conventions, Right. They're going to want to give you a gift. They want to want to feel like a good person because they hate you deep down, but they're too good of a person to, like, they're not awful because they're too good of a person to admit that they hate you and they marry you. It's just kind of a disgust that they have for you. So they're going to want to, like, you know, at least be able to tell themselves that, you know, um, I gave him a gift that he likes. They go to the mall and they, and they walk around until they find a golf-themed thing at J.C. Penny. At Christmas time, oh, it's like a, it's a little putting green, um, and 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 a, and a putter. You can it's like it's the size of a 
a sh- like a like a shoe box or something, and you can pick up this putter on your when you when you're at work at your desk and put these little ball golf balls in. This is great. Like this is, you, I know you don't like it. I mean, we don't even admit that to yourself. Here's the thing. But I'm saying, I, I, on looking at the meta level, I know it's this, this can't be great. I looked at my dad's these things. My dad got these can't be great. Someone gave him a money clip once. Like a random money clip. Like, what, why are we even doing this? What are we? But it's just the fact, and that sucked. You know why? Because he's not a money clip guy, but he was a golf guy, so he couldn't. They, they, the money clip is like, okay, not thank you. But the golf thing is like, oh, I do. I, I am known to like golf, so therefore I will have this. This is thoughtful of you. It's the illusion of thoughtfulness, and that's the best you can hope for. That's not a bad thing. I'm saying like. You're going to need to, we're all going to be kind of forced into smaller and smaller spaces, metaphorically and literally. And we're all going to be matched together as the, as the fires and the, and the atmosphere is burning and CO2. And we're going to need shorthands, right? You know, it, we're not, we're not going to have time for you to try to explain why you understood, uh, you know, Hemingway. I don't like him for the typical reasons, but it's very, something very, no, no, no time. You're you're you're, you're a you're you're a, a, a Tom Clancy guy. That's what, that's you. You get Tom Clancy. Um, no, I, I like vampire films, but not Twilight. No, no, no. You're just you're you're a you like Muppets. Like that's what you get. You're like you. There's not enough. What are you gonna have like ten thousand different horror things? You need some. First of all, you know we need corporations behind this because they're the ones who are gonna kill us. We can't have a mass extinction without the corporations. Okay, so. There needs to be some kind of material that they can sell us. You know, you talking about how you like Fellini films. There's no one's making any money. Stupid. There's no money in, in you re-watching Roma or like, you know, La Dolce Vita. Is he, did he do La Dolce Vita? The, no one, it's over. You, you're going to be watching Goodfellas is, is, is going to be the top. And it's a good top. Look, you're going to have Goodfellas. But you're also going to have, you know, just a, I don't know, just... Typical, like, you know, the, 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 not everything's gonna be terrible. You'll have to hunt for it October. It's Tom Clancy. It's a good, this is a good one. T- the, the, the stealing a submarine. It's fun. But no more, not, none of this David Lynch shit. That's over. We're getting into a, you know, we're going from uh, 128 crayon box to the 64 crayon box to the 16 to the 8. It's we're, we're getting to the 8, right? Like, oh, it, there's no more, like, well, I'm on the right and you're on the left. It's like, no, you're scum and I'm scum. And we're both scum. Like, we see it happening is my point, and we're all cool with it. Don't tell me that there's, there's, you know, there is any nuance left. And so where does that go? You think we're going to be a people of, like, no political nuance, but we just really love, uh, you know, what was it, a Fassbender? I've never seen Fassbender films. Should I see him? I should watch him more. Or, you know, uh, who, who's the guy who made A Man Escaped, the, the great French film? So he, he's not Godard, and he's not, uh, he's not you know, uh, the other one who's very faint. You know, there's, there's Thierry Truffaut. Um, who did a man escaped? A good French movie. It's something you can be pretentious about. A man escaped. You know, that's the thing. I, I, I'd be talking to people when I was in the, like, independent film. I was in, like, film cl- like, I went to a club with independent film people. In, I would meet at a hotel. I don't know. It's it's not a great story, but the point. But I remember being like, "Oh, look, I, I just gotten into like you know relatively recently watching foreign films, maybe." And like, I was much younger, and uh, this guy was like, "Yeah, I, like, you know, this whole era, he wasn't, yeah." Basically, the era was like, "Oh, you think Truffaut is good? He's dog shit." Because I like Robert Bresson, and look, it's a good movie, man. He's he's a respected director, but that's what everyone's. That's the frequency that everyone's on. You know, still, or some people are I mean, like, that's what we're coming away from. This idea that you're like, oh, we're all gonna try and like individualize ourselves by like going deeper and deeper. It's the other way. It's it's the whole thing is like now it's like, oh, I like French films. Oh yeah, I I like uh Pepe. You know, that, that seems too basic. I can't make a Pepe Le Pew reference. Uh, I like the, the 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 Meg Ryan vehicle, uh, French Kiss, uh, with, with Kevin Klein. And you would say unironically. It wouldn't be like a fun joke. It'd be like, you say, I like French movies. Well, that's in France, too. So it's a French movie. And, you just, and the, 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 the conversation would end. Um, I'm describing my plans for 
you know, the next 50 years is my point. We're going to have to adapt into these very, like, kind of um, just, like, are we going to be dumber? Like, you read 1984. Everyone acts like it's freaking, uh, oh, it's a really predictive book. I mean, is it? I don't know. It's like you're not seeing it happening. It's not going to be, like, in the book where it's like, oh, we're deleting words. And the, the whole thing with 1984, like, you know, if you haven't read it, I'm not going to recount the whole story because, you know, I don't want to. But, uh, you know, it's a totalitarian state. And the guy's like, you know, one of the guys um, from the main character is talking to, he works for the government, some ministry in England. And I, I work for the state. You know, I delete words. We deleted a thousand words today, you know. And like, you can't have, uh, you can't be, uh, politically dissident or whatever. They didn't say it like that. There's a, there's a, there's a quote that I'm not going to quote because I don't remember. If, it, if I did, I still wouldn't quote it. But uh, it was something effective. You know, you can't, you know, think the wrong thoughts if you don't have the words for them, which there's intuitively some truth to that. And that's what this is. You can't um, be mad that we're not making good French films anymore if all you have is French kisses, my point. You can't be mad that, you know, your children were murdered because, you know, we're at Celebration Village. Um, that one was a bigger leap, but you still get the, it's still a thing. It's like, they're signaling everything to you. They're signaling, and it's not conspiracy, you know, thing. It's just kind of, I, I don't think this is a plan. I think they're all, like, there's some point, they're, they're realizing the phenomenon themselves. Um, I don't know what point they could have fixed it. The, 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 the corporate looting, the wealth looting, the, just the general rot the philosophical uh, lack of any kind of framework and, you know, whatever. I mean, it, it is the eighties and the seventies, this matter. At this point, whatever generations there is just going like, they're observing, they're going like, this is getting bad. We better stock up on venison and like, you know, salted meats and go to Montana and live and be rich. Um, so it's like, I don't think it's a plan though. No, 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 no one decided to like, um, get you to have to watch French Kiss of Meg Ryan, which is actually not bad. At one point, she has diarrhea because she eats too much cheese. She, you know, Kevin Klein's watching her on the train after their meet cute, and she's just shoving. I mean, she's a 40 year old woman, probably 35 year old woman at that point, but she's this cheese is so good. I love eating. It's on, unpa- I don't know if they said it was unpasteurized, uh, but that would be the, the situation. Um, she's probably just eating raw milk for the first time in her life and just. It's like sex. It's just like cheesy cheese and sex. You know, she hasn't had sex in the movie yet. Um, I mean, she should have been fucking the whole time. But, you know, they, they uh, make, make Ryan a virgin at age 35. I mean, not that she was a virgin. You know I mean? They have to make her virginal. In, in the context of the film, she's, you know, whatever. Um, tropes. You know, no, we're not going to need them anymore in the future. But, you know, she got diarrhea um, or you know, because she... She was just shoving all this cheese on crackers on the train. Just, this is so good. She is shoving it in her mouth. Um, and it's like, yeah, I know. I mean, you usually eat this much cheese. Like, you know cheese will make you, like, you know, give you a... She acted like, oh, I've never been to France before, so I just ate six pounds of cheese. Um, this is what... It's not going to be, um, you know, breathless by Godard. It's going to be that. That's, that's, that's what we're, you know... Uh, Igmar Bergman is replaced by, um, you know, the, the Jackass Boys, um, which are fine. That's the thing. The Jackass Boys were fine. I liked the car in the ass bit. That was a good bit. When they put the car in the ass, and he's like, why don't you take an x-ray of me? And like, oh, where did that car come from? I mean, the doctor probably, he's probably seen way, like, I mentioned this last week, things go in asses all the time, and I know people who work in medicine, and they would not be that shocked by a car in the ass. There we go, Oh, you left that one in there last week, huh? You probably what? It's like, no, I don't know what it is. No, you, you, some guy. I get it. You you were just shoving a bunch of stuff in your ass and cramming it in there, and uh, you, maybe you didn't even see that when you crammed it. Then you forgot to shit that out. I've seen them a thousand times, uh, and like that's what really should. They, they probably had to do like fifteen takes because doctors aren't like shocked by seeing a toy car in the ass. They probably had to pay that guy to lie because like. Yeah, it's 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 kind of it's insulting. It's kind of like when like you're, you're some teenage kid who's friends with the son of a cop, uh, goes like, oh, you know, uh, my my dad's got a gun, whatever, war veteran. I'm trying to picture something where like some kid's trying to be like, oh, this and that, and they go like, I've shot innocent people for fun. Like, who are you talking to, kid? Um, again, he's not the hero of the story, but that's what this would be. This would be, uh, you know. 
Chris Pontius is trying to like impress a doctor. Uh, oh, I really got you there. I really put you on your on the balls of your feet. And, you know, I've seen so much stuff crammed in asses. It's just kind of is that feeling when when someone's trying to get over and they're just so much like dumber than you and so much like uh, um, it, it's just it, it's very embarrassing for them. And I feel like the doctors felt that, but even though I liked it. It was a, like I, I enjoyed it when I was a kid. But uh, but that's gonna be you know um, the conformist. That's going to take the place of Bertolucci. We're not, and it's not about dumbness. It's about we just don't have time. It's not, we're not getting dumber. We just we're not going to have time to like subcategorize. You know, now if you're some French film buff, if I if I gave you a copy of Tommy Boy, you'd, you'd act all like, well, this was no good. This is something I don't like. I like French films, maybe you know, with with Jerry Lewis um, or whatever, and. It's not about that. It's not about we're going to take the piss out of the pretentious people. That's not going to be my gimmick. I, I'm not jealous of poor people. I'll, I'll, if I, I can be rich if I want. Whatever. I'll, but these, the, the, I'm a wine bitch t-shirt. We're going to have... I'm going to be... It's, it's happening. So why would I be jealous of rich people? But I, what I'm talking about is a much more complex phenomenon where the modes of human interaction and, like, social recompense and, and gift giving and all that and just c- and camaraderie are going to have to, you know, accelerate because um, we're all going to be, like, a social migration is going on. And so no one's going to have time to, like, you know, for you to explain um, who there's, you know, that you know, Vittorio Storaro who shot, was a cinematographer on The Conformist, but also Apocalypse Now. No, 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 no. Tommy Boy. Black Sheep. Um, these, aren't, these aren't bad films. We're not going to, like, curate all the worst things. as Like, dystopias are stupid. These dystopian stories a lot of times. They always make it, everything going to be the worst. No, we're all aware of what's happening. It's happening before our eyes. We don't really know what to do. It's a strange feeling. And we're not going to, like, just make it worse for no reason. Right? So we're going to give you Tommy Boy. We're going to give you French Kiss of Meg Ryan. We're not going to make you watch, like, American Pie 6. I mean, that's there, but whatever. Um... You, we'll, we'll have a copy of uh, Trading Places because that's a fun movie. But you're not going to get, like, uh, you know, Tarkovsky. You're not, you're not going to get uh, Piss Christ. You know, who's that for? I mean, the, the amount of people, it's for, it's for a certain amount of people. And that, percentage-wise, they're all dead. Or, you know, we, we're not going to have the luxury of catering to sub-markets, is my point. Um Yeah, so, I mean, this is going go on forever. Um, feel good about it. I don't, want you to, I don't want you to be depressed about this. It's fine. It, this is a much nicer general end to civilization than you would have thought. It's like, it's like oh, it's not, it's just, it's kind of weird and kooky. Uh, it's kind of surreal. Like, that's the thing. No one said, like, I don't think, um, like, no one who got sent to the camps so this is, or did they? Maybe they did. Maybe they said this is surreal. But I feel like you're more like, this is horrible. This is the worst thing in the world. We're saying stuff is surreal. Like, there's a surrealness to 9-11, I guess, if you're there. Um, and, and, you know, and, and you're jumping from the tower ta- because it's burning, which is awful. And I guess that's kind of surreal. I think we misuse the word surreal. Um, it's just terrible. But people say, oh, so no one would have thought this would happen. That's not the point. But the point is, uh, but we also say it about, like, Oh, Trump said he's gonna kiss men on TV. Like this is now, it's not, it's fine, you know. And other worse things are happening. I understand, but you still need to buy a shirt. All right, you need. I'm making a team. Is my point. Have you not understood that this whole past hour? I I am being proactive here. You 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 want to be a golf boy? You want to be a sausage boy? You live in Celebration Village? Is that what you want? No, I'm like I'm actually seeing the trends, and I'm like, no, you can be a cum boy. If you get on board early, um, there's only going to be like eight identities. And one of them is going to be comp. All right. So it's been great. It's been fun. Uh, you know, tell your friends uh, on, on Reddit how great this is, how great this whole, uh, how great of an opportunity this is to listen to comp and watch it. Um, tell your parents that if they, if they don't support Ray Comp, you're going to tell the police that they, you know, last you may, whatever. I mean, I'm not going to put words in your mouth. But, you know, like, get it out there. This is a, this is a fun uh, experience, and uh, we're all going to share in, 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 the, in the meat pie if we get this thing going, if we get this, you know, 
movement. Uh, so just get the po- – go door to door. I don't care if it's COVID. Go to door, wear a mask and just knock on door and go, hey, let me ask you a question. Have you ever listened to Ray Kump? And have a gun in your hand. Um, don't use it. But people will listen to you if you have a gun. No, don't use it. 100%. Whatever. I'm not, I mean, not whatever. Don't use it. But I'm saying, like, I don't, it doesn't need to be said. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting like, oh, I, don't, I can't be advocating. Of course I'm not advocating for anything. I'm just saying, whatever you do, make yourself uh, uh, memorable. But not in a way of a 9-11 memorable. But just, you know, good stuff. So, enjoy it. You can... If you're part of the Patreon experience, you'll see it. Well, before I go, remind you, uh, this is week two now, uh, second week that we've been back with Our Love is Disgusting, the podcast I do with Lucy Steiner. Uh, it's a lot of fun, great fun. It's it's part of this whole thing. So get on board with that. That comes out Saturdays. Enjoy that. Um, you can email us for that, Our Love is Disgusting at gmail.com. If you, wanna, if you have you know sex advice you need, or if you want to just know if you should have sex or, you know, h- how to have sex, what sex is, you know, it's, it's we, we're, we're going to try to take that thing in a relationship uh, direction. Um, you know, I mean, like as far as, you know, the mass market, it, it's going to be like, we're going to, we're going to be the, uh, the Nick and Diana. Who, who are these people? I can't even think of a single, is there a relationship couple that like, like Kanye and Kim? No, no, no. Who gives advice? It's all, it's all just like elderly women who don't have sex who seem to give advice. Yeah, this is going to be easier than I thought because I'm trying to think of, I can't think of anyone who has sex who gives advice. on how. To, this is like, you know, me and Lucy are going to take the world by storm. It's amazing. Um, Dr. Root. He's like, you know, oh, she, just because she's an old woman with a dry pussy and she doesn't know how, to, you know, it, it, it works probably. Does it mean she can't give? It does. It, it means she can't give advice. Don't tell me it doesn't mean she can't give advice. It means that. Yes, you no dr- You need someone who knows how to use men, and to and and to, and to, and to loves just fucking. Um, that's who you need to give sex advice. That, they, they all have to sell these ideas. It's counterintuitive. Actually, this old woman, this old sexless woman, gives you better advice than you know someone who knows about sex with you. No, that's not true. You just that this is this is dystopian. This is. Whatever. So enjoy our love is disgusting. Um, you can sign up for the comp Patreon. You got the, uh, the extra episode every week. That's a lot of fun. The shirts are fun. I'm fun. You're fun. We're all having fun. Uh, I will see you either Thursday or next week. Stay safe.